It's a mighty thing, this fierce love of heaven. And it's a radical discovery, this quenchless love of God. For isn't such love what we've longed to find? Isn't that what we've longed to know? How strong is God's love, we've asked. Can anything separate us from the love of God? Does He really love us forever? Not just on Sunday when our shoes are shined and our hair's fixed and our hearts are generous. We want to know deep within. <coughs> Don't we all really want to know how does God feel about me when I'm a jerk? When I'm grumpy and cranky? Not when I'm peppy and positive and ready to tackle world hunger. Not then. I know how he feels about me then. Even I like me then. I want to know how does he feel about me when I snap at anything that moves? When my thoughts are at gutter level? When my tongue is sharp enough to slice a rock? How does he feel about me then? Can anything ever separate us from the love Christ has for us? God answered the question before we even asked it. And so we would see his answer, he lit the sky with a star. And so we'd hear it, he filled the night with a choir. And so we'd believe it, he did what no man had ever dreamed. He became flesh and dwelt among us. And he placed his hand on the shoulder of humanity and said, you're something special and I love you with an everlasting love. And to prove it, God came down from his throne and he walked with us. To prove it, God came near.